before we jump into today's video, hello, look at this blue soldier crab. Just, he's break dancing actually. Awesome. Um, Sunday, here in the Frag Box, we are doing a live stream. We're having our Frag Box Christmas dinner. It's something we do here every year annually. But now that there's a YouTube channel, we're going to turn on the live stream, and that's at 5 o'clock. Um, I think we're going to do it at 5 o'clock. That is, let's say 5.30. 5.30 Toronto time. So just look at that, whatever it is on Google, Eastern Standard, whatever it is. And if you want to just shoot us some questions, talk to us. Uh, Tia is going to be getting into the tequila. March is doing sober December. This thing is really, he's just ha having the time of his life. That's going to be this Sunday, December, what is it? 13th. That's coming up. Okay, enjoy today's video. Bye for now. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Thanks for tuning in to today's channel. We are going to unpack some new corals. Let's get into this. Polka dot hermits apparently will eat dying open brain coral. Look at him go. Nom, 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 Australian Acropora at its finest. Spathulata. Can you pronounce that? Spathulata. Oh, look at this little cutie. Cutie. Little acro crab. Can you see it right in the middle? They're beneficial. They're good for the acro. They clean it. And on top of that, they look really cute. We got some sand sifting starfish. Amazing. Really easy to keep. And they are beautiful. And they keep your sand bed nice and clean. They sift through it and they eat all the gunk. You know that Arby's commercial? Arby's, we have the meats. This is frag box. We have the clams, man. And they are big. Look at the color on this one. Spectacular. Really, really healthy shipment. So far, looking really good. These are big. It's gotta be five, maybe six inches. Beautiful parts. Thing we don't see too often. Acan Micromusa, kind of like mini Acans. They get some crazy, crazy colors. We scored two, actually, uh, three, four, cinco, five of them. They look a little rough right now, but very cool coral. Also some baby clams. These are great additions. Um, maybe you got a smaller tank. And this is pretty funky. Blue Australian Wild Pasilopora. That is a very long name or a pretty funky hard coral. One of the easier ones, in my experience, for hard corals to keep. Check these out. These are not on the shipment, but I'm just gonna show them off anyway. Some Miyagi Tortusa. Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off. Okay, I just realized something. My job is corals. Yeah. I know you've always wondered how they ship wild acro from overseas, so I will take all the Guesswork out of it. Check this out. They strap it to some styrofoam and then use some elastic bands. Look at that. And then inside the bag, because acros tend to gunk up um, when you ship them, they use carbon. Look at that. Lots of carbon in the bag. Surprise! We have a guest appearance visitor. Just randomly showed up. Surprise unpacking! Surprise, Patrick from hey, Reef Wholesale. Jeffy, Jeffy, Marge, what are you doing? Put, Let's go! Put the camera down. <laughs> what did you find there? Oh, what yeah, is that? A little bird's nest. Bird's nest what? The Serieta opora. Oh, what do you want to move? Sure, that's good. Kind of cool. Pink. What did you find? Good or bad? Oh, good. We, it's a little acro crab. Awesome. This guy, I think he looks like Jordy. He's got the little visor across the face there. Who is Jordy? Right? Well, Star Trek. Now, come on, man. If uh, you're not a fish nerd, maybe, <laughs> maybe you can get a little Star Wars in there, too. Mm. No way? Eh? No. All right. Well, no. there we go. Comment of the day. Well, that's Star Trek. That shows you how much I don't watch it. Does anyone, did anyone get Patrick's reference? <laughs> you see, that's a hallmark of a good friend. He knows I'm here late at night, alone, unpacking. And he just shows up, randomly surprises me, gives me a hand. This goes much, much faster when you have help unboxing. And this is a very nice, very, very nice carnation coil that I'm focusing over. I want to show you one more. The lights are a little wonky right now. I got them set to white and I only have one on because it is really late. I don't want to bother the coils too much, but check out this one. Ooh-wee! Patrick's trained eye. I may have missed it. This is a Euphilia eating nudie break or flatworm? Uh, flatworm, I guess. Yeah, flatworm, nudibranch. I guess it's a flatworm. Yeah, it'll and eat. so these like lay eggs around the base of the euphelias, and then they can uh, um, nom, start nom, eating nom, nom. them. Yeah, it, it's very slow, so it doesn't happen like right away. I find they're easy to spot too. Like he's quite, he's quite big. He's, he's big. He's yeah. not a small one, right? Yeah. So then you can just do like a basic coral dip. We'll get rid of these guys, or right? Keep some rasses. Yeah, keep some rasses in there and a nice little coral dip. Okay, Patrick has left. Hey, if you want a water box 20, I have a display model here um, for sale. Patrick is gone. The shipment is done. Everything is looking fine and dandy. Not even one single 
DOA coral on this order. Let me just give you a quick run through of some of the highlights that look really good. The plate corals, fantastic. The long tentacle plate corals, look how cool they are. Mm, I'm really impressed with the acans. We've got a ton, ton of acans. One of my favorite corals when it comes to LPS. Look at these. There's like 15 there and bam, check that out. Wow. Lots of lots of acans. Really cool colors. Can't wait to see these open. I'm gonna give them some time. I'm maybe gonna give them before we do like a proper walkthrough video, maybe a week, two weeks. Um, I have some other videos I'm really excited to share with you guys. This is a clownfish over here will host absolutely anything. Uh, sun coral. This is something else we haven't had in a while, and we have two different types of sun coral. I have this one, and I have do 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 this one as well. Pretty cool. Some very nice carnations. And this is very good timing to get in some nice wild acro because it'll give me a chance to really put the new Radeon XR30 G6 Blues to the test. Christmas tree worm rocks before I wrap it up. Oh man, I don't think we've ever had this many of them. Check these out. So freaking cool. I'm gonna pick one for sure to stick in our Red Sea Reefer over there in the corner. That's it guys, it's very late. I am very tired. And we will see you guys back here soon. Thank you for watching today's episode of Fragbox TV. And have a very lovely day or afternoon or maybe even evening, wherever you're watching from. Goodbye for now.